So why did you invite me to your date again? Oh god, am I going to be the third wheel again? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. There's actually a reason as to why you're here, Miss Serafina. Uh-huh. Huh? Wait, are you also in on this? Mm. Not really. Vera was the one who insisted. <laughs> oh, please. My pretty delinquent here was extra careful about this, actually. Huh? About what? Yes. It's even making me jealous how protective she is towards you sometimes. Vera... Oh, idiot. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Besides, if anything happens, you do give me consent to smack your girlfriend's face, right? No, sir. I... I'd appreciate it if you didn't. <laughs> Still loyal to me, it seems. But of course, there's no way you'll ever oppose me, right? My pretty delinquent. That's debatable. But most likely, yeah. <laughs> oh god, and there they are again, flirting. <clears throat> Besides that, since Miss Urfina has become quite lonely ever since we've become a couple. Mm -hmm. I'm not lonely! Is this one of your stupid pranks again, Vera? I'm actually trying to help you for once here. Oh, then just hurry up and say it already. Miss Serafina, patience. We're still waiting for her. Uh, waiting? For who? Uh, oh, don't tell me you just set me up on a blind date. I've seen how lonely you were lately and well. I just got an idea. Vera, I'm not interested. <laughs> That's what they all say at first. You- Did you agree with her on this? N not entirely. She didn't, at first. On the contrary, she was really against it. But I know this person really well, and she's quite the character. This person that wants to meet you is gentle and sweet. They also look up to you. Vera, I never told you to do any of this for me. And here I thought this was something important, and in the end it's just one of your stupid pranks again. You're just here to tease me, aren't you? Miss Serafina. This person really wants to meet you, though. I met her a long time ago. Like I said, just tell her I'm not interested, okay? It's probably one of your past flings, anyway. I'd rather not be involved with that kind of person. Uh, Miss Serafina, she's not exactly- Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> Hello there. Well, she kind of looks familiar. <sighs> hey. Well, this is quite the predicament, is it not? Oh, don't get all chummy with me. What does Vera have on you that she's making you do this? You can tell me and I'll teach her a lesson, don't worry. Oh. <laughs> uh, hey, Vera. Huh? I told you before, Miss Serafina. This wasn't exactly my idea. She also insisted on meeting you. Huh? Why? Go on. Don't be shy. And tell her what you told me the other day. <laughs> hey, look, you don't need to subject yourself to Vera's antics, okay? She's not as scary as she seems, as long as you know what her weakness is. Oh, and you know what my weakness is? Pretty much. Care to elaborate on that? Example number one. Vera. Oh, yes, my pretty delinquent. Did you force her to do this? Oh, I swear I didn't. She was the one who asked me to introduce her to Miss Serafina. I promise. Really? Really. Fair enough, then. Yep. Oh, shush, Miss Rafina. Of course she's my weakness. I wouldn't want anyone else. Oh, God, not this again. Just go home. You don't need to put yourself up for this. I'll do the same and leave these two alone. And go on, little soldier. You have to tell her. Hmm. There it is. Did you hear that, Miss Serafina? She wants to talk to you in private. Just the two of you. How daring. I... <sighs> Fine. Oh, Vera. I can already feel the sparks flying. <laughs> Stop teasing them already. Oh my. My pretty delinquent. You could have just used your mouth if you wanted to shut me up. <sighs> oh, I use your hands. Oh, and now she's dragging me. <laughs> See you later, lovebirds. See you later, Zara. I need to deal with my girlfriend right now. Oh my, you've become rather both these days, haven't you? Mm, so forceful. Well, yeah, I guess so. God, how did that idiot even fall for that weirdo? <sighs> Whatever. Seems like they're a perfect match, I guess.
Yeah, what's up? Are you alright? Your face looks really red right now. Yes, yes, that's my name. What is it? You? You like me? <sighs> oh, that's some really convincing acting right there. Like, are you an actress or something? I mean, I guess Vera does have the money to spare to hire someone. How much should she pay you? Come on, is this a part of your contract not to tell me that she hired you? God, that weirdo. I swear I'm smacking her next time I'll see her. Even going this far for a prank. <sighs> Quit it. Really, it's not funny. I don't care how much Vera paid you to do this, but she should really stop messing with me just so that she can get a reaction out of me. I thought we were to discuss this. God, why is she like this? <sighs> what? Uh-huh, of course she didn't. I'm going to go call her girlfriend right now to scold her. <sighs> this is going way too far. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> Why are they not picking up? What are they even doing at this point? Damn it, Vera, you bit. Uh, uh huh Why are you sitting beside me? As serious about what? Do you like Vera or something? You know she has a girlfriend, right? <laughs> okay, I get it. You didn't need to shout it like that. <sighs> that was sudden. I didn't think your voice could go at that high. <sighs> okay, you say you like me, right? <sighs> God. I'm so confused as to how you got to that conclusion. We're not even in the same class. Do you even know me at all? See? You can't even reply to me properly. You don't really mean it, don't you? Seriously, stop it already. It's getting annoying. <sighs> well, I don't know you, so why should I do something about you liking me? I'm sorry, serious or not. I can't entertain you right now. You best find another person to fawn on. I'm not the type to seek validation from other people. Okay, I'm going now. It's best you don't get involved with someone like Vera anymore. Even if she did change, she's still a sly fox. So give yourself a favor and hang out with someone else. Look, I don't know exactly what you want from me, but if your feelings are real, I'm sorry. But I'm not really interested in any romance right now. I'd rather focus on other important stuff than put myself in bothersome stuff like this. What is it this time? You want to be my friend. Why? Okay, is this your attempt to make me fall for you or something? It's to start off as friends, and then as time passes, you'll try to make moves on me, right? I know this all too well. Don't even start with me. Like I said, if it's for that, I'm not interested. End of story. See you never. <sighs> what the hell was all that for anyway? <laughs> like me? I don't have time for that right now. I'm still... <sighs> Was I being too harsh on her earlier? No, I had to say it like that or else she'll keep sticking around me. <sighs> it's best to just get it out of the way as soon as possible. It's not like... She was being serious anyway. That was just Vera's doing. <sighs> morning. Uh, good morning, Miss Serafina. Morning, sir. Mm-hmm. Oh? Mm -hmm. You don't look so good. Don't even talk about it. It's just the usual headaches. Are you doing okay? I'm fine. I already took my pills. Don't worry. This happens all the time. <laughs> but don't you have track practice later? I do, but I'll manage. Oh? How did it go yesterday, by the way? <laughs> I am this close to punching you right now. Then why is that? Oh, you should really stop it with your pranks, Vera. That wasn't funny. Using a person like that just to get a reaction from me? Mm -hmm. But I didn't do anything of the sort. What? Miss Serafina, did you not hear her out at all? What do you mean by that? She has a point, you know. She did seem serious. Huh? You mean... She was serious? Yes. She was 100% serious, Miss Serafina. Was it not obvious? She was stuttering. Well, of course. Since she's in front of the person she likes. 
She couldn't even tell me why she liked me. <laughs> no one could if put in the spot like that. But not me, though. I could definitely list so much as to why I love my pretty time. Vera, come on. <sighs> Whatever, it's fine. I'm not interested anyway. You didn't even give her a chance. I don't even know her. It's exactly because of that that you should give her a chance. Why? Oh, dear Serafina, if you run away from things that you have no knowledge about, you'll get nowhere in life. And besides, don't you need other friends besides us? She also seems like a lovely person. I don't. Oh, dear. That's not a good way of thinking. That'll leave you lonely, though, since me and my pretty delinquent will want some privacy from time to time. I'll be fine. Besides, didn't you promise to still be here for me even if you have a partner? Well, Miss Serafina, that's not- You promised. Miss Serafina, it's not all the time that my pretty delinquent will be there for you. She has her own matters to attend to, and of course, she has me too. Isn't that selfish of you to demand something like that from her? That's- And remember, although she did promise you that, it's not like she'll stay by your side at all times. <laughs> you said you wouldn't leave and me- she won't. But that's a different matter in terms of being there for you, Miss Serafina. Vera. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't bother you both anymore. Miss Serafina, you know that's not what I meant. Sarah. I apologize if I worded that harshly. I'm just trying to say that during the times where you need us, we might not always be there for you. Which is exactly why we're telling you to give that person a chance. It's also to help you meet new people. Miss Serafina. I've heard you're only close with my pretty delinquent in your class, despite having a considerable amount of people wanting to be friends with you. But for some reason, you all snob them. I don't need them. Miss Serafina. Just drop it already, Vera. I don't need anyone else. You'll Besides, it's not like she'll even be able to tolerate me anyway. There's only one person who could. And that's... But Sarah, you still need to learn how to get along with others. You're putting a lot of pressure on my pretty delinquent, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping the miss, are we? You're making me quite angry here, after all. I have to. Why? Because you're making my girlfriend uncomfortable by saying such selfish words. Vera, wait, that's not- Don't get too ahead of yourself, Miss Perfect. Just because she accepted you doesn't mean all your wrongdoings in the past are erased. Oh, I know. That's why I'm trying to become a better person for her. I've stopped being that Vera. I'm aware I wasn't exactly a saint as other people ought me to be. But I'm trying to correct myself for that. But what about you? Why are you desperately still trying to make my pretty delinquent cling on to you? I see you, Sarah. Don't think that just because I'm smiling, that doesn't mean I don't get ticked off by your actions. I would always seem to insert yourself in our dates in the guise of something else, as well as making us wait for you during track practice at times. Despite not doing so before, even doing extra skinship towards my pretty delinquent when I'm not looking, even going as far as taking care of her even though it should be my job to do so. As I said, I don't like it when people try to steal people that are important to me. She's not a thing anymore to me. She's my special person. So I'd like you to draw a line there. Because sometimes, you act more like her girlfriend than I do. So I suggest you stop that while I'm still being nice. You're important to her. And I'm taking that into consideration. But I also have my limits, Sarah. Tell me, are you telling her to stay because you want to stay as friends? Or are you making her stay in the hopes of that slight chance of her becoming something more? <laughs> Vera, that's enough. Sarah's- Let her answer, my pretty delinquent. You're still clinging on to that, aren't you? Uh, I- You need to let go, Sarah. She's not yours. <laughs> I know that! I- I know that. I- Do you? I just- I- Look, Sarah, I- I- Have I been like this the whole time? To- To you? You have. I've been quite displeased by your actions as well. I- I just- Shit! I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. No, it's not fine. I, I wasn't aware that I was already hurting the both of you. I just... Sarah. I'm so sorry. Both of you. I just... I had an idea that you weren't aware of your own actions, Miss Serafina. But not to this extent. 
I should probably stop hanging around. <laughs> Ow! What the hell was that for? And that hurt a lot too. What the fuck, Vera? My apologies, my hand slipped. What? We're not telling you to stop hanging out with us, Miss Serafina. We're only telling you that the possibility of us spending time together might thin out, as we would prefer to have our own privacy in the future. Of course, we can still talk and walk home together at times. Just not as often as we used to. Exactly. Although I did promise you, Sarah. I just want you to understand that there are times where we can't be there for you. But we'll still try to spend as much time with you as we can. That's why you need someone to be there for you. And she seems like she'll fit that role. Well, and that's exactly why we're telling you to give her a chance. From my perspective, she's exactly the type of person you need. What, romantically? <laughs> <laughs> Going that far already? Not really. It could be platonic. Not all relationships need to have romance in them. She genuinely wants to know you better, Miss Serafina. But I already pushed her away. Oh, did you? She's right there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there again, Miss Serafina's love interest. Oh. oh, hey. Hey, don't call her that! Is she not? She's interested in you, is she not? Uh, just shut up, okay? Also, how long have you been here? Ashley, don't answer that. It's going to be embarrassing to be heard all that. <sighs> mm? What is it? Class is almost starting, by the way. Oh dear, that's right. Class is almost starting. It seems like we spent a lot of time here. Yeah, your little speech especially. <laughs> Wasn't my speech splendid? I mean, mm -hmm. it was good, so... I was... still clinging on to it. I didn't even... Miss Serafina, you should go to class with my pretty delinquent now. Oh, wait. You still need to talk to her. <laughs> I'll just go bring my pretty delinquent to class myself. Oh? Huh? Wait, see really? See you later, Miss Serafina. Oh, okay. See you later, Sarah. Oh, uh, okay. Take care. <laughs> How was my profession of love for you earlier? Don't you just love it I love you that much? Yeah, it's one of the points I love about you. Oh. Will I get a reward later? Oh. I was kidding. <laughs> hey. Sorry that I didn't take your feelings seriously. Yeah? Fine. I guess we can be friends, I guess. But don't get your hopes up so much, okay? God, I can't believe I'm doing this. I get, I get it, I get it. You like me. Jeez. Let's just go to our classrooms already before class starts. Wait, how did you even know we were here? Don't tell me you stalk me. Okay. Yeah, we usually stop by here before class starts just to feel the breeze, so... And also to talk a bit. Well, we used to do it with only the two of us before Vera. <laughs> anyway, let's just go to class. Yeah? <laughs> okay then, I hope you do become a great friend of mine. <sighs> Good luck, I guess.